Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama, and today on Five Ways Wednesday, I'm going to show you my five favorite jujube prints for the fall and winter. Then I'm going to combine those prints together in cool ways to show you five awesome looks that you can rock during the cold months this year. So the five prints that I'm going to be showing you today are Sweet Scarlet, Black Magic, Black Beauty, Black Ops, and Queen of the Jungle. So here we go. This is the Super Bee in Sweet Scarlet. What's attached to the front is a Black Beauty Passy Pod, and I think these colors just go so beautifully together. The blacks are identical, the blues are identical, and this sort of grayish white just goes beautifully with the white in the Sweet Scarlet. I have the inside of the bag packed with a Lily Jade insert and Jujube set pieces and clicks. Now, as you can see, the inside of this Super Bee has just got a gorgeous blue lining. I think it looks a little gray in the video, but this is actually a very, very beautiful, almost aqua blue. On the inside here, I have the Lily Jade insert, which holds just a ton of stuff. I absolutely love my Lily Jade, but I find that more often than not, I'm just putting this insert inside of my jujube bags because I love it so much and of course I love I love jujube. So in here is the insert and right beside it I have a Sweet Scarlet fuel cell and packed inside of the Lily Jade insert just to give you an idea of how pretty these colors go together I have a Black Beauty Quick as well as a small and medium Sweet Scarlet set piece. This is the BFF in the Black Magic print if you're unfamiliar with the BFF, this is the bag that comes with backpack straps as well as a messenger strap so that you can wear this crossbody or backpack style or you can carry it by the grab handle. What I have here in this front pocket that I think is just so beautiful is a Sweet Scarlet small set piece. As you can see, those colors just go so beautifully together. And I've got the rest of the bag packed with Sweet Scarlet and Black Beauty as well. So you can see I have a Black Beauty fuel cell and quick that match the internal lining of the Black Magic bag. And then back in the back for a pop of color, I have a Sweet Scarlet medium and large set piece. For those of you who consider yourself to be lighter packers, this is the Be Light. And I have it packed up just for a normal day out with maybe one to two kids. So there's not a whole lot in here, but I wanna show you just how cute all of these prints look together in a smaller bag like the Be Light. So what I've done is included a Sweet Scarlet Passy Pod here on the outside of the bag, as well as a Sweet Scarlet Medium Set Piece packed as a wallet. Just in case you're wondering, this is black in the Sweet Scarlet. It's not a gray, it's not blue. So it matches the blackout bag really perfectly. Then on the inside of the bag, it's the same colors I've been showing you, but I just want you to see how these linings and prints look together in different bags, right? So here is the Blackout Be Light with the Black Magic lining, packed with a Black Beauty Fuel Cell and Be Quick, and a large set piece back here um, for a little pop of color that corresponds with the outside of the bag. Here's another one for the light packers. This one is a mini bee in the Black Ops print. And it may be a little hard to see, but what makes this different than the blackout print is this is actually a camo print. It's very, very subtle, so it doesn't stand out too much. But the awesome thing about the Black Ops print compared to the blackout print is this gorgeous red lining on the inside. So the way I've packed this mini bee is first with a Black Magic Passy Pod on the outside, and it looks so cute with this print in person. On the inside flap, I have a Sweet Scarlet small set piece with a Be Charged in it, as well as some lip gloss and hair ties and things like that. And these reds go pretty well together. Um, if you look really, really up close, they're slightly different, but from a distance or even just from my hand to my face, 
they look pretty close to the same. Now, if you can't tell already, I love packing with fuel cells. And what I wanted to show here is that you can actually pack a mini bee with a fuel cell inside of it. So the way I've packed this one is with a fuel cell here for snacks, bottles, and things like that. Um, and then a medium set piece just for some other little odds and ends that you might need. Now, I don't have it in here, but tucked away behind the fuel cell is plenty of room to put some diapers and wipes and things like that. And if you can see, there's also plenty of room here in the front, in front of that fuel cell. So I could still fit quite a bit of stuff in this bag, but what I really wanted to show is how gorgeous these three prints look together, particularly with this red pinstripe lining on the inside of the Black Ops print. All right, and the last print that I'm going to show you is the Queen of the Jungle print. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this one is because first of all, I think it's a beautiful fall and winter print. And second of all, this print is about to go on a really, really hefty sale on our site, thesensiblemama.com. So if you've been trying to decide if you want to get something in the Queen of the Jungle print, Hang on tight because pretty soon we're going to have almost the whole line of Queen of the Jungle bags um, available on our site at a discounted price. The way I have this packed is um, for going out with my son on a day where I might have a lot that I need to be getting accomplished and therefore I might have to wear him so that I can do the things that I need to do. So essentially what I have inside of here is a Queen of the Jungle Bee Light with my baby carrier packed inside of it. I have a fuel cell packed with snacks and a bottle and any other things that we might need for nourishment. And then packed in all the great little nooks and crannies of this Be Prepared are Queen of the Jungle quicks and set pieces. So I really wanted to highlight how great the Black Ops print looks with Queen of the Jungle as well. Because this is sort of a very, very subtle camo, it doesn't clash, in my opinion, with the Queen of the Jungle. In fact, I think it looks really, really great together. Um, and in fact, I think I'm probably going to have to snag a Black Ops quick to go in here as well, just so that there's not so much overwhelming uh, leopard print here. All right guys, so those were my five favorite GGB prints for fall and winter and five great looks that I think are gonna look awesome during the cold months this year. If you love these prints, I would love for you to come shop with me at thesensiblemama.com. We have all of these prints in stock right now and as always, we are giving free shipping on orders $75 or more and a $6 flat rate shipping on all orders that are less than that. We also have a really cool loyalty rewards program where you get 400 points just for signing up and you also get five points for every dollar that you spend in our store. You bank those points up and then you can exchange those for cash in our store to put toward any purchase that you make. I have two awesome videos that are going to be coming out this week. The first one is a sneak peek of the new Unikiki 2.0 print from Jujubee. And the second one is the announcement of a really awesome giveaway that I'm doing in collaboration with Fobs by Andrea. If you haven't heard of Fobs by Andrea, I'm sure you've at least seen her work. Andrea is the girl who makes all of those awesome little fobs that you see on all the Jujube bags around. She and I are working together to do an awesome giveaway and I'm going to be announcing that later this week. So if you don't want to miss those, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up sign down below. That's it for today. I'll see you later this week for some of those fun announcements. 